<laughs> all right. Uh, well, hi everyone. Uh, I'm glad glad you could all make it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be doing like a general harmonica Q and A today. So um, if anyone has any questions about anything harmonica related, um, just, you know, music related, or maybe to do with uh, my tunings or anything like that, um, I'd be happy to answer them. So. Uh, does anyone have any any questions to to kick us off? I've got a few to kick to kick off. Slash that does a lot on on guitar. Um, yeah, just trying to channel their intensity, really. You know, uh, like most of the rock players I listen to are all from a, a blues background. You know, um, Robbo from from Thin Lizzy is, is another one. Gary Moore, of course. You know, just just intense bluesy uh bluesy rock players <laughs> um danny giles who used to play guitar in my band as well he's been a big influence on my on my playing you know as, as a fellow soloist before the um, session started um callum uh did i hear you are working on a new album and can you tell us uh some more about this please yeah uh so <laughs> I've been working on this album for like two years now, something. Um, it's like you, you were saying earlier before, before everyone joined about Ozzy breaking his neck and then COVID and someone else. I've been a bit like that. Like I broke my neck and then uh, so yeah, I had to stop recording for quite a few months and then and then COVID happened. And, uh, so. Um, yeah, so I, I've decided basically that the new album, which is finished actually, it is finished now. Um, I'm gonna be putting it out as uh, under a different name, um, so it's not gonna be a Will Wild album. It's gonna be a new a new band. Uh, the band is called Bad Luck Friday, and the first single and video will be out as soon as possible. <laughs> Um, videos made, songs, songs, you know, mixed and, and mastered and everything. But uh, we need to get all the, all the promotion plan and everything in place before <clears throat> before we release it. Uh, and I've been holding off on that somewhat because of you know because of COVID and everything being so uncertain. Didn't didn't seem like a very good time to release when you don't know when you're going to be able to go and, and talk. So, um, so the band's called Bad Luck Friday, and it's uh, it's a hard rock band, really, um, which is is why I chose to, to you know make it a new project because I don't want people to have a shock when they go and look up the old stuff and find out it's nothing like the new stuff. Um, so yeah, um, it's, it's gonna be. Probably a different. We're going into a different area, like more more for rock crowd and, and circuit those kind of venues than, than the blues crowd. But I think that the blues crowd will, some of them at least, will will still like it because it's obviously got a lot of blues influence in there. What whatever I do is going to be bluesy to a degree, being being a harp player. So yeah, yeah it's de definitely pushing the pushing the um, barriers, isn't it? Because um... It's something we don't, we, you know, we haven't heard before. Or sort of, a, um, I'm not sure if I should ask this question, but if um, you can feel free to say no comment. Right. Um, as you mentioned, Dylan, do you feel he's a good harp player? Um, well, <laughs> he's not. He's not good, as in like you know, technically good, is he? But um, it, it's a certain sound that people that works in a certain style of music and I've done sessions where that's the sound they want you know um, like uh, I asked the, the client can you send me some recordings by other artists that just give me an idea of what you're looking for and it, it comes through and it's like <laughs> okay <laughs> you know and and it does work if if it's a song that where they want that sort of 
60s pop kind of vibe. And if, if I were to let my ego get in the way and give them like a <laughs> kind of thing, they'd be like, what's that? You know, it's not what I asked for. <laughs> so I've, I've got big respect for Dylan, obviously, as a writer. Uh, I don't mind it, so I want to complain for his stuff, but it is it is unfortunate, isn't it, that probably the most famous household name harmonica players are Bob Dylan, Neil Young. <laughs> so you tell someone you play harmonica and that, that doesn't, that's not, you know, massively into music or into blues, that's the first thing that, that comes to their mind, you know. And, you, and then you feel like you got to explain yourself a bit. <laughs> yes. Can you do any Bob Dylan? I think it's the uh, yeah right big question you go. <laughs> Well, actually, I, I mean, I, I had a, a tremolo when I was about three, but um, I used to listen to Donovan. Oh, right. Not Jason Donovan. No, I know. Just yeah, Jason yeah. to ours. Um, and a lot of things was similar to, to Dylan, and I, I, that got that got me going, really, just because playing guitar and just, yeah, there's no YouTube at the, in those days. It was just, um, sure. you know, a, a guitar with really bad action <laughs> yeah. and, a, and a rack and everything and got Lee Oscar and you know just just great to play around with you know so it's uh it's a good place to start i think um certainly just to get that harmonic s sound with what works with you know what um i suppose it's chord playing really isn't it you're playing chords rather than yeah single notes you know whether intentionally or not <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah yeah if, if yeah. it doesn't if it doesn't sound right drawing then just blow yeah, but you know, right. those sessions where I where that's the sound that they wanted, I probably spent more time on those than anything else because yeah. it's like trying to get that kind of bad, uneducated, like unsophisticated sound and try to throw all your technique out the window, but while still making it musical and fit with the track is actually quite hard to do, you know. Yeah, the only. The only reason I was asking is you've got a publication called The Harp Stars of Bob Dylan. It does look quite complicated. A lot of tongue blocking involved. I'm just wondering, you know, what your thoughts are on when he uses what seems to be I tongue blocking. I doubt he ever tongue blocked anything, to be quite honest. Well, in the publication, it looks like he's tongue blocking, but maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. I, I've never, like, sort of watched his, you know, on the show when he played. I'll, I'll, I'll have to have a look, but... Right. Okay. It doesn't sound to me like he like he did. Okay. Yeah. Should we should we leave it there then?